Thursday, January 11th. I'm Riley. And I'm Lexi. Here's your daily bolt of information. Seniors, you are past the halfway point to graduation. Now is your opportunity to pay for, sign up for early registration to the exciting grad night celebration. Your first opportunity will be the morning of the senior picture, Thursday, January 18th, before and after pictures. There will be free donuts, bagels, and coffee for everyone who pays that day at the low price of $90 by check or cash, $93 by credit card or PayPal. Bonus, you will also receive 25 raffle tickets for early purchase. There will be a lot of amazing prizes raffled off the night of the party. Prepare for your future with a fantastic party following DVHS commencement on May 24th. Freshmen, sophomore, juniors, and parents are invited to learn details about their results of the PSAT and MSQT testing. PSAT scores interpretation night is Thursday, January 25th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. in the Marcos de Sinises High School Auditorium, 6000 South Lakeshore Drive, Tempe, AZ, 85283. Do you have the best teacher ever this year? Or do you remember the best teacher you ever had? Then give them the recognition they deserve and nominate them for a Tempe Diablos Excellence in Education Award at their website. You or your parents can nominate them for a Class Act Award or even an Inspiration Award. The online nomination process will be open until January 26th. All award finalists and winners will be presented at the Excellence in Education Award ceremony in May. Now on the clubs, Max, I'm Max, and here's what's happening in campus clubs. Calling all musicians, dancers, artists, and actors. The Desert Vista Talent Show will be here on January 31st. You can sign up in the front of the choir room, A104, to audition. Auditions will be held after school each day next week, January 16th or 18th, but you must reserve an audition time by signing up at the choir room. Qualifying performers will be notified the following week, and the talent show will be at the evening of January 31st. Attention Thunder Buddies, there will be a meeting on Friday beginning at 7.45 in the Counseling Office Career Center. See you there. The new year brings about new changes for us. Karma Yoga Club is known as Karma Yoga Club Global Network for Sustainability for the Peace Club. The meetings will now be held every other Tuesday morning at 7.45 in the Yoga Room. We will begin meetings next Tuesday, January 16th. We hope to see you there, and namaste. Don't forget, DV has lots to offer. Back to you. Now let's kick it over to Chris to see what's up in Thunder Nation. Hey everyone, I'm Chris and here are your DV Sports News for the rest of the week. Congratulations to DV Thunder senior Wesley Harris, Varsity Waterburger player of the game, and congrats to the Varsity team for their home court win over Highland on Tuesday, 69-60. to This Friday, all teams face Desert Ridge in the Storm Center. Freshmen start at 4, JV at 5.30, and Varsity at 7. Come out and support. There's always room for pizza. Spinatos is hosting a fundraiser for boys basketball this Sunday, January 14th from 12 to 8 p.m. Come, come out and join us. Girls basketball is on the road this Friday, take it on Desert Ridge. Freshman start at 4, JV at 5.30, and Varsity at 7. Hope to see you there. JV and Varsity men's soccer kicked off Tuesday against Gilbert, last, state, last year's state champions, and DV prevailed with two victories. JV dominated their victory with three goals from Casey Morris, three goals by Luke Stales, and one goal by Adrian Roback, and one goal by Sebastian Lisker, Zach Najak, in goal, and the defense team held the Gilbert team at bay, and the Thunder claimed a 8-1 victory. Varsity ended the first half of their game at a 2-2 draw. Solid offense, two free kicks from Ty Lanham, and ended in goals by Max Waynes and David Glenn. Second half went scoreless with DV clamping down in defense, and the game headed into overtime. In the first period of overtime, keeper Logan Rabaska launched a long ball Brendan Hicks flicked it in the air, and Connor Stevens scored to put the Thunder on top, ending in a 3-2 victory. Junior JV travels to Hamilton tonight, taking the field at 4 p.m., and this Saturday, JV and Varsity face Highland on our home turf. Games start at 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. Girls soccer has a game this Friday, January 12th, taken on Gilbert High School at home. Games at 4 and 6 p.m. Wrestling competed a lot over a break. Here are the results. 
The team took second at Moon Valley, falling short by only nine points. We had three finalists and four wrestlers taking third in the tournament. Tariq Hornbuckle, third at 120 pounds. Rashawn Taylor, third at 126 pounds. Jesus Rivera, second at 132 pounds. Justice Smith, third at 145 pounds. Preston Camio, third at 160 pounds. Armando Delgado, second, 195 pounds. And Brett Johnson, second at 285 pounds. The team then traveled to California to compete in the Cerritos TOC and took third out of 79 teams. We had two finalists to go with two other placers. Tariq Hornbuckle, six at 120 pounds. Justice Smith, second at 145 pounds. Armando Delgado, third at 195 pounds. And Brett Johnson, second at 285 pounds. We also competed this past weekend at the Pierre TOC and had four placers. Tariq Hornbuckle, fourth at 120 20 pounds, Justice Smith 6 at 120 pounds, Armando Delgado 6 at 195 pounds, and Hunter Lewis 6 at 220 pounds. This weekend we finished our tough tournament schedule with the Flowing Wells Tournament in Tucson starting at 8 a.m. Boys Volleyball Open Gym continues this week and goes through February. Here are the remaining dates. January 23rd, January 30th, and February 2nd. All will take place at the small gym immediately after school. Attention any boys interested in playing tennis. There will be a boys tennis meeting for anyone who plans to try out this year on Thursday immediately after school in room A102. Attention girls softball. Open fields began on Tuesday. They are from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. Please come and ready to work out. Any questions, please contact Coach Crow. Girls Varsity and JV Lacrosse Mandatory Parent Player Meeting is tonight at 6 p.m. in the DV Cafeteria. Pizza will be served while we go over the upcoming season. The meeting is open to returning players as well as new players. Registration is now open. Come join Thunder Lacrosse. That's all for sports. Back to you. That's all we have for you today, DV. Have a great rest of the day, and we'll see you back here next week.